हेलो एवरी वन टूडे विल डिस्कस एंटी प्लेटलेट ड्रग्स बाय प्रोफेसर सबाशिक सो फर्स्ट वील सी वट डू मीन बाय एंटी प्लेटलेट ड्रग्स सो प्लेटलेट फॉर्म द इनिशियल हिमोस्टैटिक प्लग एट द साइट ऑफ वॉस्कुलर इंजुरी एंड आर ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आथ्रोस्क्लेरोसिस सो बेसिकली बाय इनहिबिटिंग द प्लेटलेट फंक्शन थ्रॉम्बोसिस एंड आथ्रोस्क्लेरोटिक वॉस्कुलर डिसीज कैन बी लार्जली प्रिवेंटेड so our drug anti platelet drugs prevent the platelet aggregation and activation now let's see the classification of anti platelet drugs so first one is the pg synthesis inhibitor example is aspirin second phosphodiesterase inhibitor example is dipyridamol third adp antagonist examples are ticlodipine clopidogrel fourth glycoprotein 2b 3a receptor antagonist examples are abegzimab then eptifibatide tyrofiba tyrofiban and the last one is the other drugs which uh, which include pgi2 so let's see the mechanism of action of each drug one by one in detail so first one is the pg synthesis inhibitors example is aspirin so basically in the platelet what happens this arachidonic acid in the presence of cyclooxygenase 1 is converted into prostaglandin g2h2 this prostaglandin in the presence of thromboxane synthase is converted into the or transform into the thromboxane a2 this thromboxane a2 is basically required or involved in the platelet activation and aggregation so now our drug how it will act so this is the normal uh, we, uh, we, we can say the physiology by which platelet activates and aggregate so what happens here our drug that is nothing but aspirin it will inactivate cyclooxygenase 1 and thereby inhibit the synthesis of thromboxane a2 and ultimately inhibit the platelet activation and aggregation the cox inhibition is irreversible and the effect lasts for 7 to 10 days now the second one is the phosphodiesterase inhibitor and the example is dipyridamol so what happens here this drug that is dipyridamol it will inhibit phosphodiesterase this phosphodiesterase it is involved in the breakdown of cyclic amp so thereby as the cyclic uh, it is involved in the breakdown of cyclic amp to amp so as our drug inhibit phosphodiesterase so what happens thereby increase in the level of cyclic amp and ultimately it will inhibit or it will interfere with the platelet function our drug that is dipyridamol also inhibit the cellular reuptake of adenosine into platelet rbc and endothelial cell leading to increase extracellular concentration of adenosine and thereby interfere with the platelet activation and aggregation function so our drug that is dipyridamol it is used along with the aspirin for the prophylaxis now the next class of drug is adp antagonist and the examples include ticlodipine and clopidogrel so what happens here the adp bind with the p2 y12 receptor this result in a series of cascade of reaction which lead to the activation of gp2b3a fibrinogen receptor after activation of this fibrinogen receptor the fibrin bind with this and then lead to the platelet aggregation as our drug is a anti platelet drug we don't want this aggregation so what we will do here so our drug that is adp antagonist it will bind with the p2y12 receptor after binding with the p2y12 receptor what happens it will inhibit the activation of gp2b3a fibrinogen receptor as the activation is inhibited so thereby it will inhibit the platelet activation and aggregation now the next class of drug is a glycoprotein 2b3a receptor antagonist so here what happens our drug that is glycoprotein receptor antagonist it will bind with a gp2b3a fibrinogen receptor after binding with the receptor it will what it will do it will inhibit the binding of receptor with a uh, with a fibrin 
so it it will basically inhibit the binding with a fibrin stain and thereby it will inhibit the platelet activation and aggregation now the last one is the pgi2 so pgi2 that is nothing but the example is epoprostenol can be used during hemodialysis to prevent the platelet aggregation as a alternative to heparin now the last one is the uses of this antiplatelet drugs so antiplatelet drug uses includes okay, it will use in the treatment of myocardial infarction angina pectoris in case of the heart disease coronary artery bypass surgery long term use of low dose of aspirin is recommended then cerebral thrombosis and it is also these drug also used in the treatment of atrial fibrillation this is all about the antiplatelet drugs thank you